this is Angela with Hampton Roads Home Stage and a Redesign. I hope you guys are doing well. It is uh, Thursday, August the 23rd, I do believe. And I'm um, just here showing you guys, giving you um, hopefully a quick video of my bedroom. I'll try not to make it too long for you guys. Um, it's not a very big room, as you can see, but it's it's enough for me. And um, let's see, I guess I'll start here on this side. So just to give you guys a quick peek here, now you see the two, um, I guess they're like wrought iron wallflowers. I got these from Hobby Lobby. You can see those up close there. My mom actually had these when I went home to Memphis in July for her birthday. She actually had um, two of these in her um, guest bathroom. And I thought they were so pretty, and I said that would be perfect. I was looking for something to go on this wall, and this is it. So they're regularly, I want to say $30, $29.99, but of course, um, I got them for half off, 50% off. And then if they're not on sale, if you decide to purchase them, you could always um, download the app and get them for 40% off. But they go on sale very often, so they're a popular item according to the um one of the reps there at the store. So, and then just, of course, my little small TV. This is only like a 24 inch, I think. And my DVD player that I don't ever watch, but just in case I do maybe get a red box or something, then it's here. And then here's another piece that I got from Hobby Lobby also. And this is just for extra storage and something to actually, um, let me close this up. As you can see, my boyfriend is put some stuff in there so but um let me show you I think that drawer has stuff in it but I just basically have some books and photo albums and things like that I just use it for extra storage down here so it's a cute little piece I want to say it was about I think it was $99 maybe for this piece yeah I believe so and then you know my rugs you guys have seen these rugs before I'm going with the white fur right now. I might change them out later um, for the winter, but we'll see. And then I have this one here. I got this from, I think I got it from Home Goods. this gray one for maybe $14.99 or TJ Maxx. I'm not sure. I had um, a bench at the foot of my bed, but I ended up putting it back out front right now as my coffee table. So you guys have to excuse like the way... I have the bed made up here at the foot of the bed because you can see my box spring underneath this, uh, my bed skirt. But basically what's going on here, this is, if you can tell, whoa, there is a mattress pad here and it's thick. It's real thick. So I need to fix this. I have those little pins to stick down in here, but I didn't do it. But, um. It's a mattress pad, and this is my way of storing it away. It's real soft, one of those memory foam mattress pads. So what I did is just stick it um, underneath the mattress because sometimes I'll put it on top and sleep with it, and sometimes I don't. You know, I have back problems, so sometimes I need, I like the softness of it, but, you know, th but I just put it here. That's how I store it away because trying to fold it and put it in the closet is just, you know, it's not going to work. It's a big, like a thin mattress. But, um, and then I always tuck my comforter or duvet cover. I tuck it underneath for whatever reason. I just kind of like it that way. I don't like it to hang for some reason. And then I just have, um, here just a, a blanket that came from Home Goods last winter. And I keep it on the bed because I typically have a fan on me when I sleep at night. Um, this There's no ceiling fan here in this room, but I do have a fan that I use that goes on the desk at night. And then you see these pillows here. Uh, let's see. Now, the one in the front came from Ross. This one is, the gray one is from Home Goods, And then the other two are also from Home Goods. And then just my regular... Uh, the set that goes with the duvet cover and the Euro pillows and then the sleeping pillows in the back. And here on the nightstand, 
I don't know. You guys remember this furniture? It was a black furniture in the condo and I got it painted. And I have to say, um, I thought it was beautiful when I got it. It was just absolutely gorgeous. And she did a great job. And once I really had time to look at it, one, one day I was cleaning the bedroom and I happened to get down on my knees and I saw some imperfections that I will not point out right now, but um, she's a sweet young lady and she was really upset when I let her know, you know, what I saw and took some pictures and everything. So basically she did buy some paint. She kept calling. She was like, I'll take care of it for you. I'm so sorry. But um, she just kind of overworked, overwhelmed. She has little ones, but it's okay. I told her, you know what, because of my schedule, it was hard to just work things out. I said, you know, um, it just give me the paint and I'll take care of it. So she bought new paint. I just haven't done it yet. And I'm going to give her what's left whenever I get around to it. But um, on the surface, it looks great. So yeah, that this was the black furniture. It looked better than what I had going on anyway. So I wasn't ready to part with it yet. So I'm buying a new set. It's real wood. It's way more expensive. So, and what I have here on my nightstand is this tray that I got from Home Goods. I think it was $14.99. Just a candle snuffer here. Um, this clock I got from Tuesday morning. That was in the living room. I brought it back here. And then this, um, I guess like an urn here. I got this from Home Goods also. And it has a candle inside. And these flowers also came from Home Goods. But I think I'm going to put, I saw it different colors that I want. I just bought these flowers actually. And um, I love the vase, the size of the vase and still got the sticker on the bottom because I was trying to decide. So it's only been maybe since the weekend that I purchased this. So I'm going to go get a different set. I don't care about the color as far as summer, winter, fall, whatever. I like it. So I just go with it. So I just, I'm creating the ambiance that I want to go for in my room. So and then, of course, this mirror here, um, you guys probably have seen this mirror at some point. I just laid it up against, or leaned it up against the wall. I really didn't want to hang it. And this lamp I got from Home Goods, $39.99. I have this one. Actually, I have two. This one and that one over there. So let's go over here. This is going to be a long video, y'all. I'm sorry. So, got my laptop out. This desk came from Target. My boyfriend got me this um, as one of my birthday gifts. So, and I love it because it has this drawer right here. It's awesome. My tablet's in there. It's a long drawer and it's deep. So, I love it. I can keep everything I need to keep inside and not on top. So, it's a nice writing desk. And uh, this chair, I don't know if you guys have seen this. I got this from a lady off of... The Facebook Marketplace, I think, for 40 bucks. I love this chair. I love it. You guys know I love this print, this animal print. It's, it's in great condition. Got some lint on it, but it's nice. I need to get that off. That's for me. And then, of course, the other lamp. And there's just a pin set from, hmm, Bright and Jewelry. I've had that. And this photo here just says live in love. And there's a clear tray. And... Orchid, just a single orchid, I believe. Single stem, yep, that I've had. And the other mirror, y'all have to excuse my appearance. I'll say hi if you can see me. No, nah, maybe not. Hey, <laughs> I'm uh, getting off from work and I told myself today, you're going to record a video. And I had to go out a little further um, when I got off in traffic so I could um, place a lockbox on a property. So, um, I have a real estate listing, so I took care of that. Hey, there we go. Still didn't get my hair done, y'all. But anyways, um, and this clock came from Kirkland's for $16.99. So that works over here. Now, now those of you that follow me on Instagram, then you know here, this picture came from Ross. And it's so pretty. I just, I love it. It's different. It's really different. But I had, the sconces I had here were um, more of a rustic look. It was something different. But, you know, I had to stay true to me, to my style. And I ended up getting these from Kirkland's. These others here, if you can see. 
It looks like one of them might be crooked. Yeah, but there you go. And I got those for, they were regularly priced $29.99. I got them for $22. I used my birthday coupon, 25% off everything. So I just wanted to show you guys what the bedroom is looking like right now since I didn't show you for summer. This is basically it. And y'all know it changes so much with me. The life of an interior stylist, home sager, everything is constantly changing because that's just what I love to do. So, but I wanted to show you guys before I change it out for fall, which won't be, I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. Maybe, um... Mm, sometime in October we'll see but basically what I will do is change out the bedding I will go to probably a gray duvet cover I will change the bed skirt as well to match and I'll probably change out the pillows on the bed but we'll see so and that's about it for fall that's 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 all I'm gonna do I don't I'm not changing up a whole lot of my decor you know, really disturbing things. I like to change things up. But as far as like, you know, coming in, it's a brand new room. Nah, not doing all that. The bedding is the only thing that will basically change. It will be darker. Maybe, um, nah, I can't think of much else I might change because I, for once, I, I actually like this. I mean, I, I like it so far. <laughs> so, and then here on the dresser. Now, this changes quite a bit. Y'all, can you just look at this dresser? Can you believe it? This is awesome. I mean, it really needed it. Minus the, you know, paint touch-ups, but it is still, it just gives it a different look, a different vibe altogether. So, but um, you guys have seen my runner that I've had. I normally put that out in the fall, but you know, the, uh, I can't really say glam girl, but the, uh, what will we call it? Mm that Miss Pris in me, I guess you could say, loves the fur and the shiny things and flowers and just all things beautiful. So, and this horse head came from Home Goods. I just had to have it. Look at here. So pretty. It's probably still got the tag on the bottom. Let me see. Yep. $29.99. I got that probably when I first moved in here. Yep. But I... I I don't know why I leave tags on stuff because sometimes I want to make sure I really love it, you know, because for me, I sometimes I jump the gun, I'll buy things and then I'll see something else and I'll get upset if I can't return it or exchange it. So I, I sometimes will just leave the tags on things if I'm not a thousand percent sure. I might be 100 percent sure, but not 1000 percent sure. And then I also like to leave the tags. So when I do decide if I'm going to sell things or use them for staging, then I'll know what price to mark it down to, depending on how long I've had it. Okay, and then just a set of white roses here, and then this tray that I also got from Home Goods. And actually, my daughter gave me a lovely, she gave me a, a Mother's Day uh, gift. She gave me a gift card for Home Goods, and I think it was like 80 something dollars. I, I was just, I was shocked. I didn't expect it, but I got this with it. I think this horse. And these, the set of boxes here, aren't they pretty? Let me tell you a story about these boxes. A young lady in the store now, they, they still had the paper wrapped around them. This one did, and it was inside of this box, the big box. So I looked inside, I said, okay. So I took it to the front, and um, it was still wrapped up, so didn't think much of it. I took it to the front. The young lady opened the box, looked at it, said, okay. So same thing I said. She put the top back on it, rung it up. And that was it. So I get home when I unwrapped it, it had a price tag on the bottom as well as the big one. So she basically, it's almost like just what I thought that maybe it was coming as a set, but it did not. I thought it was cheap, but I said, hey, she'll know when I get to the front. But when she rung it up and kept going, so did I. So forgive me, Lord. And um, this piece here, came from home goods and it was $19.99 this is so pretty look at that what do you call this y'all is this like a love knot or something or did I just make that up well it's pretty though and y'all excuse me my voice is a little raspy here and there because um my allergies are kind of acting up on me a bit uh oh I'm gonna tear it up yeah 
Here we go. Oh, I skipped all over this now. You guys know I got these pearls from a thrift store. I wear those for like $10 a long time ago. Did lots of wear out of them. But this like neck form here, I got that from Michaels. Regularly it was uh hmm, $17 maybe. But I got it for 40% off. I was like, that's something different. I just wanted something different here. So that's what I did. That's what I came up with. I had the horse in the middle. I've had lots of things there. You guys know if you've seen my Instagram post, but I like this for now. And then this picture, mm, this uh, canvas painting here is absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous, y'all. Look at that. I remember seeing it. And I just, I was like, I want this for my bedroom. I love the neutral colors because it has color without being overwhelming like the living room. And there I have lots of color, the teals and the corals, the orange. Yeah, so this is totally different. It's very relaxing to me and I love it. This is so pretty. Look at there. Yep. So, and this was 119 maybe. I got it on sales regularly, $129. Got a little bit taken off of that. So, and I was going to put it over the bed. Actually, I had it up there and it fit, but it went all the way to the ceiling. I was like, that might be a bit much. So, I just decided to put it here instead of a traditional mirror, since I have a mirror here on my dressing table. So, yep. And then my curtains here, I got these from... TJ Maxx, I believe. Yeah, I think I have about four panels. No, six up there because two comes in a pack. Yeah, there's two, yeah, two here and two in the middle, two there. Yeah, so six. And then the curtain rod, I already, already had it. And so there you go. It's got a little bit of pattern to it. See that? Let me see. Yeah. Very pretty. I won't be changing those out either, I don't think. So, that works. And I think I have covered everything, you guys. Um, I believe. I'm trying to make sure I haven't left anything out. And there's a closet there. And that's got it's like storage stuff. Of extra comforters and stuff like that. And my linen closet, per se, because the one in the hallways for guests and things like that. And then there's my closet in the corner. Um, I have the bedroom door closet flipped um, up against the wall. But the other one is a walk-in closet. It goes to my closet. I'll show you guys that one day. And then my bathroom here. And then, like I said, just my dressing table. And I don't have anything on the wall here. So I figured this is good enough right here. So this is where I sit and put on my makeup and get ready for work and things like that. When I am, you know, doing a full face, not like baking it and mask it. I mean, um, like foundation and all that. I, I really don't do all that. I'm more of an eyeshadow girl. You know, my basic stuff, the mascara, some lipstick, a little bit of blush to put color in my face, things like that. You know, when I am not, like lately I haven't been wearing so much because I had to let my brows grow back out. So, but yep, that's it. And then just a trash can. And this vanity table, I've had it for a while long time and this came from Kirkland's also with the seat and uh, this mirror is from Kirkland's as well I think you guys have seen that in the condo I had uh, that at the entry way there mm -hmm. and then just a cake plate with my little lamp that I got from like a garage like a flea market antique flea market they would have um, every first Saturday over there when we lived in Portsmouth downtown well, that's about it, you guys. I think I've covered everything. And, you know, I said, let me go ahead and do this because if I keep waiting, you guys will never see it if I'm waiting until I do this, wait until I do that. And I said, you know what? I'm about as ready as I'm going to get. So I just decided to go ahead and show you guys. And I'm trying to get better with this thing. And there's another rug here. I'm trying to get better with it. Um, and I will. I haven't put curtains up in the living room, so I will be back to show you the changes I made in there. Show you my kitchen. I'll show you the bathroom. Um, 
and linen closet, a little laundry room area. I'm gonna do each video separately, so then I will have a lot. <laughs> so, but anyways, you guys, this video is 20 minutes long. It is time for me to go because I, like I said, I, it's 8.15 and um, my alarm clock goes off at four. I'm out of the bed by 4.30. So I need to take a shower and lay it down, y'all. But um, I thank you guys for watching and just all the love that I have received. You guys are great. I miss you. And I'm going to get better with the videos. I promise you guys, I will get better. I promise you, I will. So, and, and all of my new subscribers, I know my channel is really small. But thank you guys for subscribing and watching. I appreciate it. And I thank you for my loyal subscribers. All of my friends, you guys are awesome. And uh, welcome to the new subscribers. And I hope to bring you guys some good content, you know. And um, I'm always doing a lot of stuff, but I don't think about recording things, you know, always. I just don't. So, like, when I was in Memphis, I should have, but it, it was I was just go, 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 you know. But, um, yeah, that's what it is. But, anyways, um, thank you, guys. I, I appreciate you all. The old and new. I appreciate you guys. You're awesome. So I will talk to you guys later. And also, oh, wait a minute now. See how I do? This is what happened when, this is what happens when I don't talk to you guys often. But those of you that follow me on Instagram, you know about the raccoons. So you know what? Hold on. I'm going to turn this camera around. I don't like talking like this. Hold on. All right, y'all, I, I really just talking in that way. I'm trying to make sure I'm looking at you guys. Um, and excuse me, I have one earring on and one off. But anyways, like I said, I'm just getting home from work. But basically, you guys know about the raccoons. You know, it's on it, my Instagram page for those of you that don't know. Well, I thought they were gone because I hadn't heard them in probably about a good week. I mean, I hadn't heard a peep. I said, oh, wow, they must have gotten rid of them. Well, come to find out, I um, emailed the leasing manager. She hadn't done anything. She called a different company, Acme Pest Control, and because they told her they couldn't guarantee that they would get them all, um, she didn't ask them to come out. Terminex has a trap out there, but that's it. So I was assuming that maybe the raccoons relocated themselves after I'd done some research, and it said that, Normally, they'll have their babies and then they will relocate, you know. Um, and I came home one day and I, or I looked outside one day and I saw one of the larger ones, I guess the mom, taking one of the babies out from my deck area. So I know where the entry point is now. So I saw her taking them out, or one of them, and they saw me and they turned, she turned around, and they ran back inside. Well, uh, since I hadn't heard them, I said they must have been, you know, they left. Well, today I come home as I'm walking upstairs. I hear this noise, so I look up. And when I looked up, guess what I saw? This raccoon, it looks like a dog. Seriously, they look like dogs. Y'all will see on my Instagram page. And, I mean, it, it was scurrying, trying to get back inside before I saw it. So I looked over. And I'm like, what in the world? And I just said, huh, it's back. They're back. Well, when I tell you it got up in that hiding space so quick, and I could see where they have ripped the siding, like peeled it up. And that's how they get in there. They have uh, kind of bent. It's like a sheet of paper that's been ripped. Y'all have to excuse me. I'm holding this phone. Um, so, yeah. But that's their entry. That's their access point. So my boyfriend said, this weekend, when he comes over, we're going to get some cayenne pepper and maybe some ammonia. I hear if you spray that, but we're going to get some cayenne pepper for sure and put that outside. And we're just going to have to take matters into our own hands. Now, I'm not going to try to catch them. I'm not going to seal them in there, but I'm going to put that cayenne pepper down because we're not expecting rain anytime soon. But, um, yeah, so that's about it. I'm going to go now because I need to take a shower and just kind of settle myself down. You can tell I'm kind of excited. Settle down for the evening. And my voice is um, getting raspy, so it's already like that, but it's getting a little worse. So it's time to 
shut it down. But anyways, you guys have a good evening, okay? I'm going to go now for real. Talk to y'all later. Love you guys. Bye.